Hello, hello, and welcome back, or welcome. I am book lover Lorna, and it's finally time for my 2021 wrap up. Um, I did really well. Like, I feel like I've I've read a lot of books last year, and I conquered my target, which was 100 books. So I've done I've done very well. Now, what we're going to do today is I'm not going to actually like talk about any of the books and my reasons why for my ratings, but I'm going to basically run through my uh, five star books, my four star books, three star, two star, one star. I might do it the other way around though, actually. And then at the end, these are my physical books. I've got like a huge pile here. I mean, this was the best place to do it on my bed, but they just keep, every time I sit down, like the piles fall and then they're all intermingling and then I'm like, was that a three star or four star book? Because now it's fallen out of its pile. So yeah, that's that's the problem that we're having today. Um, but you know, all's fair in love and books. So what we're gonna do is that, and then I will talk you through or tell you the ebooks that I read over the year and the ratings that I gave those because obviously I don't have physical copy of those and it would be very long-winded for me to be sat on my phone here the whole time going right so I read this one oh, and then um, I read that ebook and then I read this physical book so we're not going to do that we're just going to do that at the end because I feel like we're more interested in physical books but some of the books, best books that I read this year I don't actually have copies of here they were audiobooks or ones that were sent to me so I would still stick around for that if I was you because some of my best recommendations are probably in there. Mm -hmm. So yeah, that's kind of what we're gonna do. If you've read any of these books or want to read any of these books, let me know. I might kind of put you off some. Some of my my opinions are a little bit unpopular and don't kind of suit the crowd. So yeah, but like for that, I can only kind of be honest with you and just be like, yeah, I didn't like that book and everyone else did. I can see a pile here that's about to fall on the floor. So without further ado, let's get started because I'm just going to show you the book and I'm going to try my best not to talk about them because if you want to hear me talk about them, go watch my videos throughout the year. They'll be in those. I mean, I haven't done a wrap up for December, but most of these books I've got wrap ups for each month. So let's go. I did read a one star book this year. Picture Perfect by Jodie Peacock, one of my rereads. Didn't, didn't like that. That was my only one star read, I think. Right, so what we're going to do is we're going to say this is my only physical one star read. I think, no, because I, I did read other physical books that were one star from the library, but we're going to call them like, we're going to do them in the last section. Library books and ebooks and all will be the end. So one one star that I've got here, two star books. We have We Ride Upon Sticks by Quan Barry. This is one that I predicted I'd give myself. I give five stars. I didn't. I gave it two. Uh, no one is too small to make a difference. I didn't like this. It was very preachy, but it was uh, a speech. So kind of makes sense. Daisy Jones and the Six. I gave that two stars. Don't kill me because I know lots of you will disagree. Now, three star books. Let's have a look. I've got two piles of three star books, which is not too bad. Three stars for me is kind of either, I don't really know. This is how I'd feel when I was writing it. I don't really know. Or, oh, it wasn't for me, but I have an appreciation for it. Or it's like, oh, I kind of wanted it to be a four star, but there were just parts of it that weren't there for me, whether like the beginning was really slow, something along those lines. That's where the three stars come out. So, kind of funny, the first three star book is The Third Wife. These are in no particular order, by the way, because that would take me hours to uh, organise. The Third Wife by Lisa Jewell, gave that three stars. The Road Trip, that was a bit disappointing for me. So this was a three star that I wanted to give higher, but I just didn't, didn't gel with it. The Road Trip by Beth O'Leary. The Magpie Society by Zoe Sugg and Amy McCullough. I wouldn't be picking up the next one in the series, I don't think. That one I'll probably unhaul, actually. In Five Years by Rebecca Searle. I barely remember this. Very loosely remember it. We Just Clicked by Annabelle. Three stars. This was kind of annoying. I just found it like I was sitting on a phone. This video is starting off very negative. Uh, Are We All Lemmings and Snowflakes by Holly Bourne. Again, not sure if Holly Bourne is for me. I'm still trying to suss that out. So that's why uh, that got three stars. Let's get my next pile. Oh! This is 
It's going to be easier once they get closer to me. Lone Wolf by Jodie Peacock gave that three stars. Again, as part of a reread, kind of disappointing. Uh, You'll Be the Death of Me by Karen McManus. Are we sure I gave that three stars? Yeah, I did. Mm, do you know what? I've already forgotten the story and I literally only just read... Oh yeah, there was a lot going on. Didn't really didn't really gel with that as much as Karen McManus's other books. Lucy Diamond and Almost Perfect Holiday. Felt a bit drawn out. That one did. Three stars. Sheets by Brenda Thumler. This one is a graphic novel. Um, it was okay. I just, I think my expectations were really high for that one and they didn't meet them. Uh, another Jodie Peacock reread. <laughs> Rereads are going well. Vanishing Act also gave that one three stars. Right, I'm like whizzing through this because nobody needs this to be a really long video. This is just all the books that I read this year. Let's move on to my four stars. I've got four piles for these, so it's a lot better. Uh, Blackout by an amalgamation of authors. This is a like a short story kind of collection by loads of different authors. An anthropology, no that's not right. Anthology, anthology, anthropology. I've watched too much Friends. Uh, Try Not to Breathe by Holly Seddon. Really like Holly Seddon books. These are my four stars, remember. Uh, Christmas Escape by Sarah Morgan. In the Dark by Cara Hunter. The other Cara Hunter books are in here, but I just, I should have put these in a particular order, shouldn't I? Uh, the Authenticity Project by Claire Pooley. And Up All Night, again, an anthology from lots of different authors. Uh, let's do this pile. Ugh! Oh my, oh my goodness, they're falling. The Adventure of the Christmas Pudding by Agatha Christie. That was a short story collection as well. Let's read quite a few short story collections this year, or last year even. I'm getting very confused between the year. Does anyone even know what day it is? What year it is? What month it is? I don't. Uh, the Cardiff Christmas Club by Nick Frampton. Read that one every year. No Way Out by Cara Hunter. See, there's another Cara Hunter book, also four stars. The Yearbook by Holly Bourne. Four stars, but I'm feeling like I should have given that a three because I can't remember it at all and I don't think I re-rated it. The Midnight Library by Matt Haig. Again gave that four stars but I think really it deserved a three star because I'm unhauling it so yeah. Uh, you Should See Me in a Crown, Leah Johnson. Again I'm unhauling that so I feel like maybe I should have given it a three star rather than a four. Too late now. Postscript Cecilia Ahern. Four stars. Let's get another pile. Ugh. Wish You Were Here by Jodie Picoult four star. Would have been a five star if it wasn't for that silly twist that I don't like. Song for a Whale by Lynn Kelly. That had been on my shelves for a long, long time. So I finally got around to reading that. Close to Home, Cara Hunter. I've done these backwards. Four stars. The Lido. This one I feel like I should have given five stars to because it's made me start swimming regularly. So I feel like maybe I should have given this a five star. Maybe like next year I should do like a reevaluate and see if I want to bump these up any stars. But at the moment, we'll just leave with what I uh, what I chose. Clap When You Land by Elizabeth Acovedo. That one I gave four stars. Again, I'm unhauling that one, so I don't know whether I should have given it a three. I think someone gifted it to me, so I didn't want to kind of give it a, a harsh review because they were like, oh, you'll love it. And I didn't really, I didn't really love it. Snowflakes on Silver Cove, four stars. P.S. I Love You by Celia Hearns. I should have said that around the same time as Postscript, but I will. The Existence of Amy by Lana Grace Reva. Knife Edge by Mallory Blackman. The Inheritance Games by Jennifer Lynn Barnes. And Pumpkin Heads by Rainbow Rowell. This is a graphic novel. Quite enjoyed that one, actually. But yeah, it was definitely a four star. So those are all my four stars. I am whipping through these so quick. So this is a very quick fire. Mind you, I do still have all my ebooks and stuff to go, so yeah. Right, five stars. Are you ready? This is where you want to get your recommendations. This is it. Some of the four stars though. Yeah, oh, all oh, the books falling. Okay, ready? Christmas at Lilac Cottage by Holly Martin. Felix Ever After by Kaysen Callender. The Horse Dancer by Jojo Moyes. Not the Type by Camilla Thurlow. This One Summer, a graphic novel by Gillian Tamaki and Mariko Tamaki. These are all my five stars, by the way. If I haven't already mentioned that, I'm sure I have. The Girls I've Been by Tess Sharp. 
Circus of Wonders by Elizabeth McNeil. Something just moved in here, that's the bookmark. Sunlight Over Crystal Sands by Holly Martin. The House in the Cerulean Sea by TJ Coon. I know loads of you have read that one. Oh, this was a really good one this year. The Hit List by Holly Seddon. Thoroughly enjoyed that. Such a Fun Age by Kylie Reid. I'll be honest, I don't remember a lot about this. Oh yeah, I do. But I don't know if it was a five star for me. So maybe that one should be in my four star rather than my five star list. We have The Gilded Ones by Lamina Fauna. Really enjoyed that. I'm looking forward to the next ones coming out now, actually. The Queen's Gambit by Walter Travis Tevis. This was one of my best books for the year, actually. So that is on uh, going in my top five books, I think. I really liked that. Uh, I get, oh, the next one is, again, another one of my fave books of 2021. The Long, Long Afternoon by Inga Vesper. I read that uh, before it was even out as a arc, and I loved it. This Time Next Year by Sophie Cousins. You can't see that cover at all. The Whole Truth by Cara Hunter, the book that got me into the Cara Hunter books, even though I read it before the, uh, the last ones, before the ones that come before it, if that makes sense. That's the last book in the series. Uh, Ice Creams at Emerald Cove by Holly Martin. Concrete Rose by Angie Thomas. And we have one pile left of physical books. Oh! They're heavy, they're heavy. All right, let's move these ones along because I'm just drowning in books right now. I'm also a little bit hungry. Let's do these two down the bottom. Uh, Summer of Chasing Dreams by Holly Martin and Mistletoe at Moonstone Lake, also by Holly Martin. And then the last four physical books that I gave five stars to. Let me get them in the right order because this is just going to upset me. Obviously... The Heartstopper graphic novel series. So those are all my five star books. Physical five star books. Um, I feel like I've done quite well. A lot of three star, no, a lot of four star and a lot of five star. Uh, a good amount of three star books, like a decent amount. Uh, good ratios, I feel. And then one one star and two, three two star books. So I feel like we've done well. I mean, let's have a little look. My average rating for the year is over four stars. Uh, yeah, it's four star and over. So just, just over four stars. So I think I've done very well with my reading this year. I've read a lot of good books. Uh, now let's have a little look. We're gonna have to go backwards through the year, I think. Okay, so A Lighthouse Christmas by Jenny Hale. Four stars. What am I even looking for? What am I looking for? These are all of my uh, ebooks and books that I no longer have access to. So I either borrowed them from the library or I got them as audiobooks. Um, these are going to be in no particular order, star wise, rating wise. Uh, Meet Me Under the Northern Lights by Emily Kerr. Two stars. The Best Things by Mel Guidrock. Three stars. Oh, Murder by Milk Bottle by Lynn Truss. One star. On a Night Like This by Lindsay Kelk. Uh, five stars. That one I will be getting at some point, but I want to wait out until it comes out in paperback. And Walking on Sunshine by Giovanna Fletcher. Four stars. Again, I'll get that one, but when it comes out in uh, paperback. Under the Whispering Door. Four stars for that one. The 24 Hour Cafe by Libby Page. Oh, Under the Whispering Doors by TJ Klune. This is messy, this, this part of the video. 24 Hour Cafe by Libby Page, three stars. There's a big bird outside. Stepping Up by Sarah Turner. Absolute ace book, five stars. Massively recommend that one. One of my biggest recommendations of the year was an audiobook that I read, Dial A for Aunties. I gave that five stars. Exciting Times by Misha Dolan, two stars. Destination Wedding by Dick Shibasu, one star. Uh, what's going to be our next one? Domestic Bliss and Other Disasters by Jane Ions, five stars. Ghosts by Dolly Alderton, five stars. Uh, da, da, da. Tied Up with Love by Holly Martin. I don't think there's a physical copy of that book, so I read that online. Uh, that one was five stars. September 11, 2001, The Day the World Changed Forever. Forever. A graphic novel by Baptiste Bouthier, 
five stars. Grown by Tiffany D. Jackson, read that one from the library, I gave that five stars. Away with the Penguins by Hazel Pryor, four stars. The Lock-In by Phoebe Luckhurst, five stars. See, there's a lot of good ratings here, isn't there? 100 Proposals by Holly Martin. I have got that, but I don't know where it is, so I think that my mum might have borrowed it because I wouldn't lend it to anyone else. It's not my bookshelf, so she's got that. Four stars, I gave that one. Uh, the Beach House by Jenny Hale. Quite enjoyed Jenny Hale book. Uh, I gave that one four stars. The Guest Book at Willow Cottage. I can't find that either. Uh, but I think that's here somewhere. I gave that four stars. The Lucky Escape by Laura Jane Williams, four stars. These are all going to be shooting up on the screen so quickly. Summer in the Scottish Highlands by Donna Ashcroft, three stars. And uh, da -da -da. Court of the Grandchildren by Michael Muntisoff. I gave that five stars. That was definitely one of my most impressive books of the year, I think. Uh, Italy Ever After by Leonie Mack, I gave that three stars. Until Next Weekend by Rachel Marks, four stars. A House Swap by Joe Lovett, four stars. The Summer Job by Lizzie Dent, three stars. That was a bit of a low three, to be honest. Truth and Other Than Hidden Things by Lee Geller, five stars. Although I can't remember any of it, so who's to say whether that deserved those five stars? The Billionaire Blooper by Lolita Thorne, four stars. Oh, do, do, do. quite a good stint of reading physical books there. The Summer Seekers by Sarah Morgan. I don't have a physical copy of that. I read that, gave that four stars. I read that, read that as an arc. In case you missed it, I've got that, but my mum's borrowed it. I gave that one three. Three stars. Love Spells and Other Disasters by Angie Barrett. Five stars. Uncoupling by Lorraine Brown. Four stars. Uh, done that one, we've done that one, we've done that one. The Promise by Lucy Diamond. I didn't buy that. Um, I read it as an arc. Gave that one four. Love is a Revolution by Renee Watson. Again, four stars. And that's it. So I've just, in not too long a time, run you through a hundred books and the ratings that I gave them. I hope you're still here. I hope you're still here. Because, you know, there were some good recommendations in there. Some that I've given five stars. You'll know which ones I like the most because my face is usually like, ah, I love this book. Lights up. So all excited about the books that I've got and read. So yeah, those are the 100 books that I read this year and the ratings that I gave them. Like I say, if you want to see me talk about more of them, like more about them, sorry, go watch my other videos because there's more in there. And if I sat and talked about every, of these, every one of these books in detail, we'd be here for hours. Like I wouldn't be able to even edit the video together because it would be too much. My camera probably couldn't hold that much footage. We'd be here for hours. It would be, it would be a long old, a long old video. It'd be like a movie, a movie of me talking about books. And I don't know if we all really need that in our lives or not, potentially. Like I could, I could enjoy that, but I don't think anyone else could. So, so we're not gonna do that. We've just done a quick fire. Here's the rating. Read this book. Don't read that book. Yeah, that's, that's where we're at. Thank you for coming to my quick fire books I read in 2021. Hope I gave you some recommendations. Get ordering. My I'm gonna try not to order so many books this year. Um because I'm reading less and I bought a lot of books last year, so we're just gonna be good. Like we're gonna be good in 2022 and not read not buy so many books, but read good quality thick books is the plan. But yeah, that's my uh 2021 wrap up with my huge pile of books that you can't see them all. Thank you very much for watching. Happy reading and I'll see you all soon. Bye!